Touchdown confirmed. The whole planet seemed to celebrate the recent mission to Mars, but reviews were especially stellar here at a tiny space lab in Tampa. A little jealous they got to go first and got to be the first CubeSats in deep space, but they rocked it. Now Wesley Thaler hopes to rock it, Cube satellite style. So when you've got 14 thrusters, you can steer, you can pitch up and down, you can even get a roll going on. It's a small cube satellite that won a NASA competition, basically built from scratch. We come from a very hands-on, maker-centric philosophy, as opposed to academic learners, and we've built and prototyped and built our way up. They're a team of office IT guys doing rocket science, and they're now testing their new thruster that has a purple glow because it's powered by water. The top jet are ions, positive particles. And Wes is betting that water is the rocket fuel of the future. We think that opens up the door when people start extracting minerals and stuff in deep space. They're going to have a lot of water left over, which means that water can be put to use to do more exploration. So it starts to snowball at that point. And in space, tiny purple thrusters will push the small satellite thousands of miles an hour with the force of a finger. Ours is about as much thrust as putting a paper clip on the end of your finger. Two. Smooth sailing in space with rocket science blasting off from Tampa with a tiny purple burn. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News.